Today we're going to be doing uh, the disassembly on a MacBook Air 11 inch. We're going to start by taking out the screws located on the outer edge of the unit. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is un unplug the battery connector and that will lift straight up, lift it out and then there's five screws that are holding down the battery and they're all different sizes so be sure the screw you take out goes back in that exact same hole. Now the battery will come out, it's not connected or stuck to anything else to the unit. And next we're going to take out the flash memory drive or stick. And that takes a T5 screw as well. And the stick will just pull straight out. Okay, next we're going to disconnect the power cable that connects the DC board to the logic board. The next I'm going to take off the fan assembly. And once again, these are three different size screws, so be sure you keep track of which screws go where. And the fan is connected to the logic board via this little cable right here. So we're just going to take our little tool here and flip it up. That locks the cable into place. Take the fan out gently so you can get that cable freed up. Just pulls right out. Next, I'm going to take out the heat sink, and there's eight screws holding down the heat sink. And these are all the same size screws, so it doesn't matter which screw goes where. And the heat sink is held down by some silicone paste on top of the CPU so don't just pull the heat sink up right away. Just kind of get your tool under there to free it up. Just take it off just like that. And then next we're going to disconnect the airport card. Now there's two cables holding down the airport card and they're, they're pretty fragile so just be sure you're gentle with them taking them off. And then that's being held down also by a T5 screw. And just like the flash memory stick, it'll pull straight out. Okay, next we're going to disconnect the display cable. And the display cable has this locking metal piece on here to keep it from disconnecting so we'll just flip that up and then we're going to pull it out gently as well and your display cable is disconnected 
Next, we're going to disconnect the cable coming from the trackpad to the logic board. And this, this is the same type of connector that also connected the heat sink. So it's just going to flip up. This cable will just pull right out. We'll also do it to the connector connecting onto the trackpad so we don't risk tearing this cable out while taking the logic board out. There's your cable. Next I'm going to disconnect the speakers uh, that connect to the logic board. And these are held down by double sided tape so you can get your tool underneath here and just free it up. And get your tool underneath the connector. speaker will disconnect just like that. Same thing to the other side. And there's your speaker. Okay, next I'm going to disconnect the power board and there's a connector connecting to, to the power board right here. This will just pull straight out and there's also a cable as well connecting right here. I'm going to need to disconnect. Fold that back. And then this is being held down by a T5 screw as well. It's also being connected to the logic board as well via this cable. So we'll just pull that out. And there's your power board. Okay, next we're going to take out the logic board. There's your logic board. Okay, next we're going to disconnect the display from the bottom housing. And there are pieces of tape holding down the airport cables along this top side edge here. So we're just going to disconnect the tape. And you'll see that the airport cable is ran along this top side edge here. So we're just going to pull the cable out. Okay, next I'm going to open up the computer to a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to unscrew the
the T8 screws located right here so I could get the display off. Okay, once your screws are out, the screen will just come apart from the bottom housing. And there you have it.